Hi everybody, Tim Heidecker here with the Holy Trinity, Doug Lusenhop and Vic Berger. We are celebrating July 4th, Independence Day. It is the day we signed the Declaration of Independence. We are announcing the big 3,000 Patreon uh, member goal, which is coming up around the corner. If we hit 3K, Vic, what's going to happen? We're going to... Um we're gonna get the W O H L that's coming back. Uh huh. And what is that for? How long? Three hours. <laughs> three hour. A three hour W O H L morning madness spectacular. If we hit three thousand patrons, we also want to let you know that in honor of that experience, we're now selling this amazing product. It is a bumper sticker for your car or for your computer and pin. Join us. We'll have morning madness again. We'll make morning madness great again. After 3,000, tell your friends and family, join now. Hi everybody, Tim Heidecker here. We're having a week off on office hours, but we have put together a best of after hours compilation. After Hours is a, an exclusive podcast we do. If you're a member of the Patreon community, patreon.com slash office hours live, you'll get an extra half hour plus. We've been doing sometimes an hour of show uh, after, after, after uh, Office Hours. Welcome to Office Hours After Hours. You are the exclusive members of a very small community. How can I help you today? Um, actually, uh, today is my birthday, and uh-huh. I was calling to see if there's anything that you and the rest of the guys could wish me a happy birthday, because it's been a pretty <laughs> shitty couple of weeks. Let me talk to the guys. Let me put you on hold for a sec. Just stay there. Um, Vic, where, what's, what's, your, where, where, what's your instinct on I mean, this? There's a lot of darkness happening in the world right now, and I just think... Some people need a little cheer up, especially when it's their birthday. So I'm going to say I think we should wish them a happy birthday. Okay. Doug? No. No happy birthday. Yes, of course. Yes. Happy. We're going to wish him a great happy <laughs> oh, birthday. Oh, 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 we are? <laughs> <laughs> because you say so. Well, I mean, that's just you ask me and I say uh-huh. I say I vote yeah. Well, then you should, we should, you should say I vote yeah or I... Uh, I am in favor of, or I wish to, but not we are. Not like you're making some kind of goddamn commandment. Yes. The hell, dude! Can we just, can we just have some kind of yes, understanding? Jeff. Of, yes, of, yes, Jeff. <laughs> Here's the deal, I'm Jack not Dylan. <laughs> what's your name, first of all, Joker? Huh? What is? What's your name, Jack? My name. Huh? My Brent? name's Brian. As in, uh, Brian. Brian Wilson. Well, I said, Brian, yeah, like, Brian Epstein, Mr. Epstein was me manager, you know. Be My Baby is my favorite song. <laughs> Look, Brian, you already got on after hours. Isn't that a great present? Uh, All right, now, Brian, <laughs> how, old are, how old are you? I am you? super excited. It. How old are you? I am 30, 38 as of today, and I'm a giant fan of all yours. And you're a 38-year-old man calling in and asking for now a I'm birthday wish? <laughs> now I'm getting excited. You're more like 38 months old. That's I, what I, Now I'm getting listen excited. Listen to me. Listen. Now <laughs> settle down, Brian. I'm going to teach you about life. <laughs> you should have learned this a long time ago. I bet your daddy never loved you. He never cared about you enough to tell you these hard truths. This shit is weird. I've decided. I've made a big decision. This is a huge decision. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> The decision is this. Despite calls from my studio here, from Vic, people like Vic and Doug. The pounding. I've decided not to wish you a happy birthday. (laughs) That's the truth. And it's it's hard. It's a hard decision. I don't do it lightly. We all can grow and we all can learn. I do not do this lightly. I do not do this with any kind of malice towards you. I think that your birthdays not just yours but people's birthdays in general are absolutely irrelevant no and there is no reason to celebrate them or acknowledge I them agree. I disagree with you. you what no. you disagree or you agree no i, I completely agree with you good uh, now you're starting to get it uh, now vic and doug are so quick to to please everyone 
Oh, well, happy birthday. If that's what you want, I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll do this. Because I'm a good guy, <laughs> I'm going to let Vic have a second to wish you All happy right. birthday. Can I begin? You may begin now. Um, you're an inspiration to me because uh, I'm 37 and I will be 38 in August. So I want to be wished happy birthday when it is my birthday. So <laughs> I want you to go out and enjoy yourself. Uh, keep your distance from other people. Do some dancing. Put your <laughs> headphones on and dance to, to some music like this one. Well, I can't go up. Well, you can go up. You can, you can keep Look at distance. him talking back to you. See, this yeah, is what you get. I know. Okay, this that's is, enough. I, I take back my happy birthday. V Doug, now is your opportunity <laughs> if you wish to continue, if you really, really oh, have to. I say, look, play by your own <laughs> rules. If you want us to wish you happy birthday, happy birthday. But, you know, Tim's got a point, but everyone's got their own oh. style of birthday life. It's only, you only get 138. You got to nail it. Okay. Well, Brian, here's what I'll do. Yeah. I'm gonna wish you. I can't believe what's fucking happening. <laughs> I'm gonna wish you the best, and I do that every single I goddamn day that. of the year. You understand me? I do that every single goddamn day of the year. You Human call me up, meat. you ring me, you send me a note, whatever you do to communicate with me. Congratulations, little one. I'm gonna Today say your birthday. Hey, Brian, man, I wish you the best. I hope your happiness. I hope you nothing but happiness. I sit at night. It's, and I pray so for you. Appreciated. You have no idea. There's Jackson Brown. I, my just question is: Is it Jackson Brown or not? <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't look like Jackson Brown to me. A uh, CJ? Okay, hold on. Stay on that shot. Stay on that. <laughs> hold on. Let's get. Jackson Brown images here. Don't look at. There might His be some eyes look private a little stuff here. There. Hold on, let me, Jackson Brown. This will be interesting. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> Jackson Brown. Okay, we're gonna go at images. <laughs> I like the glasses one there. All right, let's look at this. Oh. There's several Jackson Browns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's here's Jackson Brown that we just looked at, right? right? And now go to. That's, that's, he's he's one of those guys. It's like beard, his beard made his face look way different. Is what's going on. It's the same guy. I know, but he's one of those guys. It's like we were talking about this the other day. Not photogenic. He's not photogenic. Like he doesn't look like Harry Shearer in that. That's what I said, uh, Vic. Oh, you just said that. Oh, no, okay. not oh. not. I'm just thinking. I'm just <laughs> excited that we had the same feeling about that. Well, let's pull up Shearer. Doctor, my. <laughs> Right, fine, we're putting up Harry Shearer. Harry. By the way, is Harry Shearer like a? Is that his real name? <laughs> Harry Shearer. Yeah. yeah, because oh, it's is that like a, a natural like pun? A, yeah. It's like a natural pun, right? <laughs> 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 like <laughs> he's shaved. A shearer is something that shaves. Right. Someone that shaves. Yeah, shearer, yeah, like a hairy. Yeah. Like it's there ironic. Go. <laughs> There's. There's Harry Shearer, and there's Jackson <laughs> Brown, but it's more this picture, picture of Jackson Brown. Brown. There, that's, <laughs> that's, that's Jackson Brown. There's, <laughs> but wait, let me get the, get this one. There we go. There's Harry Shearer, I mean, yeah. Jackson Brown. <laughs> Harry Shearer, Jackson <laughs> Brown. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Harry Shearer. Harry Shear. Oops, sorry, I lost my thing here. There's there's Harry Shear, and then there's <laughs> Jackson Brown. <laughs> Harry Shear, Jackson Brown. <laughs> I want to play Pound the Pavement, and play you can again. act like you're Steve Malcolmus, because oh, I yeah, did. So I stay apologize. up really late last night making this. <laughs> okay, pound let me just apologize. This, this game show. I was, it was, Steve. I... I like uh, I, I really uh, love pavement when I was in college and just like a seminal group for me and it sort of bridged the gap from uh, what I loved, which was like the Beatles and the classic rock to sort of indie rock. I didn't really know they were like the first band that I dug in from that world. And I loved his last solo album, the, his most recent solo album. What's it called, Matt? 
uh, traditional techniques. It's terrific. You got Matt Sweeney on there. It's a really cool, cool record, man. It's a great fucking record, man. Anyways, I didn't know what we're, I didn't really have anything prepared to talk to him about. I just, because of this week that's been going on, I just said, well, let's just shoot the shit with Steve because I've talked to him before and he's kind of this really, as you saw, he's kind of just an interesting, smart, funny guy. And that's what happened. But Doug's wisely and into his credit, I thankfully said last night, you know, well, why don't I do a game called pound the pavement, which is, a, you know, uh, which is what we'll do now without Steven involved. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so, but you so, got to act like you're Steven. Okay, man. I'll just be like Steven Malcolmus <laughs> from uh, pavement, man. I mean, why not? <laughs> So what what is the game, man? Pound the pavement. Hey, Steven, this is Doug. Uh, I'm the sound guy from Office Hours. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, I just want to say you were my favorite band. Pavement was my favorite band in college. My second favorite was Dinosaur Jr. My third favorite band was Alien Ant Farm. So <laughs> I just wanted to get that out of the way. And I had a couple questions to, to put you into a pavement quiz to see how much you knew about pavement. You go ready? Ahead. Yes. Is this going to be about spiral stairs and all the rest of the band? Or is it? But, hey, go ahead. <laughs> what is the most recycled product in America? Asphalt. Pavement. Well, I guess you're kind of right. Asphalt would be pavement. Which Belgium chemist laid the first true asphalt pavement in the U.S., including Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C.? Which Belgian chemist? Yes. Edmund s- Dismet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One for two. Let's bring an audience member in yeah. to this because otherwise I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Keith Wamond. Doug, go ahead. Go. Give, it's next? up to Keith to solve the puzzle. <laughs> Keith. Keith. I Keith. Uh. Time to go, mate. What's the T for? The question is, what's the tea for? What's the tea for? Uh, <laughs> sipping gently by a... Your by band a... is all male adults, correct? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Then why isn't it simply pave men? <laughs> <laughs> what's mm-hmm. the tea for? Ma- Madeline just did the biggest... Uh, uh, eyebrow raise I've ever seen. Like, oh, okay. That's what that is. Okay, you got one more chance to um, <laughs> to win a free to tie. You're gonna win a free month subscription to Sniffy. <laughs> you know what's great about Sniffy is now I, I I've been using the Sniffy with the device that plugs into the wall. But now they're going fully I in love the cloud. That That's great. What they're is that? it's fully in the cloud now. <laughs> Really? So you don't even need the device to activate Sniffy. It sounds like a... Okay, whose fault was the fart? Whose fault was the fart? Whose fault was the fart? That's a do. That's a that's a log. That's not I mean, a fart. It's, a na- it's, it's nobody's fault, really. It's just a natural thing. That's the correct answer. Nope. Correct answer is asphalt. (laughs) It was asphalt. (laughs) Thanks for playing. Thank you. Uh, Is Tori on the line? Here he is. Hello. Can you hear me? Tori. Hey. Hey, what's up, everybody? Buddy? This is Tori Harris, a good friend of mine. It goes back, it goes back to basically me and Matt. He was a no friend of me and Matt's. Um, anyways, Tori <laughs> has designed a, a Beatles pun game for us, or uh, I guess a riddle game. Actually, it's sort of um, and I'm looking for who thinks they really know their beats on the Zoom. Raise your hand if you think you are a beats a beat spurt, a beat oh, a uh, fab oh, fab head. Oh, I got a guy. Oh, you got a guy. You, yeah. Have you seen his videos, Juddy? No. He yeah. does these wonderful Beatles covers at like basically every Please Please episode. Oh, okay. Right. I have seen him. Is that Juddy down there? Hey, Juddy. Welcome to the show. Hey. We're going to make this. Um, I hope this will be enjoyable, but if it's not, we'll bail on it. 
Okay, Tori. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. So, Johnny, this is to win a Office Hours um, bundle, which is the T-shirt and the mug and a signed postcard and a sticker. So if you can, I already, I already bought the bundle. All right, well then you can get another one and give it as a gift. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, <laughs> you made a bad choice in your life. Should have waited. Should have held back. But that doesn't mean that everybody should stop. Should not buy. You know, buy and then if you get it, if you win a prize, you win a prize. Is there somebody in your life that you can imagine giving this bundle to? Absolutely. There you yeah. go. Then maybe you should have just held back on the uh, comment. Right. I'm really sorry. I do that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, donate it. So, Tori, walk us through. Give us um, walk us through this game. We'll do best of three, and you'll go first, Juddy, and then I'll go, and then we'll go back and forth. See who can get three, and uh, and we'll see how it goes. Why don't, why don't we do one okay, sample so one? First. One sample one. Yes, count. one sample one that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, these are all Beatles songs. They're all hit songs or pretty popular Beatles songs. And I'm going to give you a clue, and it's a pun on it's a pun on. So the example is, if you're repairing your rectum, then you're doing this. This would fixing be fixing a hole. Fixing a hole. Yes. He's got it. Jotty's got it, mate. Very good. Very good. I expect that's going right. to be an easy one. Let's let's kick the game off. Jotty, you're up first. All right. Shall I? Please, Tori. Let's do it. Okay. If your spine goes to the Kremlin, you could say it's this. If Back in USSR. Very good. Back very in the USSR. One. That seems pretty easy, too. All right. It's to me. <laughs> okay. All right. The street where Vic Berger's favorite pasta is made. <laughs> the street where Vic Berger's. Now, I had help with from Matt on this one, so I don't know if this. One... The street where Vic Berger's favorite pasta is made. Oh, yeah, Matt said cut. this was a deep oh, cut. Oh, I got so it. I, I have it. Pen A Lane. Penny oh. Lane. Very good. Wow. One each. All right. So that's one to Tim and one to Jetty. All right. So you want to keep on going? No, we're done. Yeah. No, we're no, done. Game's kidding. over. <laughs> no. Uh, All right. It's to Jetty. <laughs> All right, Jetty. <laughs> so monotone. Sad Leno's favorite protein shake supplement is. Could you repeat that? Sorry. Oh, I know yeah. it. Sad Leno's. Favorite protein shake supplement is. Okay. I have it too, actually. I got it. Can Juddy reach out for a lifeline? Uh, from yeah, Juddy could do a lifeline here. With, with you, we need a little help from your friends. Mm, I get <laughs> a little help from my yeah, I'll, I'll do a lifeline, please. Uh, you want to ask me? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take Doug, please. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> sure. Sad Leno's favorite protein shake supplement is. Oh, Blue, Blue J, J Way. Way. Very ah, good. Very good. Very good. That's two to Juddy. All right, Tim, this one's a little harder. You can find this in the mouth of a masticating horse. <laughs> Not masturbating, but masticating horse. Oh. Gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> what does masticating mean? I don't know if I know what I think I know what that means. Uh, you got it, Doug? Or do you just No, I just know I think I know is I'll tell you what I won't say anything is if that's if that's does it, is that No fair? Doug, why don't you tell him what masticating yeah, means? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, well I might be wrong, but is it eat, eat it. It's chewing, yeah, right? Chew. Yeah, it's so, correct. So say it again? Mixing saliva with the, the, the mush. Ah. What's the clue one more time? You can, you can find this in the mouth of a masticating horse. So given what Doug said. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, something with hay. Yeah. Mm. Hey, you, Jude. Ah. Uh, hey, hey, Jude. Yes. Wow. Very good. <laughs> wow. Hey, Jude. Hey, that's a comma. It's not an easy one. Oh, yeah, hey, no, that's good. Hey, Jude. Right. Yes. Jude, <laughs> hey. You could, you could also say is hey, Jude. Hey, comma, Jude. Okay. Yeah. Two each. Yes. But that All was right, chewed. Shit. That was not. That's the first one where you're deviating from the actual, like Blue Jay. Oh, it's punny. It's punny. All right. All right. Well, way is not yeah, W A Y. It, uh, it's that's. Um, right. But it's still phonetically whatever. Yeah. Well, the where we're I help, live. We're that's help, how we, we helped you, Tim. You should have not have got that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could. I All phoned right, my so, friend. I think Jetty needs a point. All right, Jetty. One more. And if you can get this, 
you win the shirt. You win the bundle. If you can get this one, you win the bundle. All right. If you're eating a delicious Middle Eastern fava bean spread from a high altitude, you are enjoying... If If you're eating a delicious Middle Eastern fava bean spread from a high altitude, you are enjoying... Um... Give him the hardest one, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is kind of a hard one. Shit. Anybody in the chat think they know? Anybody out there is like f- f- uh, Francis? Do you want to call Francis on this one? I know a garbanzo bean Fra- spread. You want to call Francis Frosca on this one? Fava bean spread. Okay, yes. Francis is coming in to help you out. Francis, what do you got? Is it baba ganoush? No, that's an what? eggplant. God damn it. Fuck. Eggplant. As far as I know, that's not a Beatles song. No. All right. <laughs> Baba Anybody O'Reilly. else think they have yeah, it? I don't. Yeah. It's something right. hummus, right? No hummus. That's that's right. that's that's not fava bean. But, that's that's garbanzo. Well, maybe bean. You can go the other way and, let, and think of the air or this airplane or is it you know because it's your wait a high altitude. High altitude. You're on the Rockies. Uh, Rocky rec. No Rocky. Um, uh, in a mountain. What, what, you're definitely not in a yellow right, submarine. Uh, I'll tell yeah. you that. Doug. Doug. Uh, <laughs> Vic, am I, I onto right. it? Airplane. Uh. Well, it, it's not not quite as high as a mountain. It's a raised area of land, not quite as high as a mountain. Um, fool on the hill. Fool on the. Wait. Yes. Oh, what's, the, what's the? What's uh, the? Oh, okay. What's the? the fool. Fava. F o u l. F o u l. Wow. I've never fool. heard of fool, yeah, and nah. I'm a I'm a world class eater. <laughs> you know what, Juddy? You're getting the pack anyway. That's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Vic, get on piano and I'll sing. All right. Get on piano and, you'll, and I'll, we'll do it. Yeah. Is Tim, you want to know what my favorite uh, Randy Newman song is? What? Welcome back. <laughs> you know Welcome Back? Cotter? Yeah, it's not him. Huh? People wonder why we got to stay away. Everybody's living every day. But now they're telling me that gotta be quick ain't no question about it there are people getting sick (laughs) stay healthy don't go to school don't go to work don't be a fool a lot of people think there's clowning around okay but there ain't nothing gonna stop me from going out there to play (laughs) <laughs> this is not working very well. So yeah. That wasn't too bad. Wait, what was your I wasn't going to bring oh, this up. Um, Hold on a sec. I wasn't going to bring this up, but let me just say something. <laughs> <laughs> I got, yesterday, last week, I did, was all happy because the last week's show was great, right? We had, who do we, it was a big show. We um, had. Oh, what are you going to bring up? Well, well no. A, it's I'm not, worried about this. It's not no. on you. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it's, it's not me either. No. <laughs> Somebody in the YouTube goes, Tim is so abusive to Doug. <laughs> right? And and I just want to say, nobody ever talks about the fact that every time I tell something, <laughs> I get the snore sound effect in my ear. <laughs> and so all it is is a little, and I don't say nothing about it. I understand I, that's what the show's about. We're trying to talk about big ideas. Yeah, we're fucking, we're, we're like sitting talking here. I about ideas, this not is, about people. This is locker room talk between guys. <laughs> And we bolst each other's bulls. And this guy, this kid's on, on YouTube comments going, why is he so mean to Doug? He, poor Doug. He's yelling at Doug. I'm just a human being, and I go to the bathroom like everybody else. And yet anytime I talk about myself, and it's my show, by the way, he goes, I'm like Dylan, and he plays the snooze sound. I don't do I'm like Dylan. That's Vic. Oh, that's Vic? No, who you don't me. say anything. Who you yeah. never go off and on. But Doug, you understand. him like no, your little baby boy. You don't feel abused by me, do you? Well, I, this is my only job. I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> we like I mean, to look, s- Tim. Go ahead. It's only when the cameras are rolling when, you know, you're not. You're, you're not, no, you're not. You're. You're. But I even feel like I've. You there, know, were, there was like one time when you. I like to get. Me, I like to. I get, don't care. It's I part of the fun. I, I know, but I like, like to get all. Me. I like to get all hot and bothered know, by it's fine. It's fun. the situation. And if you're if you're playing something or I'm trying to do it, I get frustrated. I, <laughs> I, I take it out on you, and, and sometimes I take it out on the listener. If the listener, 
<laughs> is going on and on about some way, bullshit. You're way meaner than the listeners than you are to me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, but I have great love and respect for many of the listeners. Many of the people listening, many of the Zoomers are, we have terrific chats and I give terrific reactions. So I just, my, my Don't only worry point about was, that one comment. I know. One but, comment? Yeah, no. Yeah. Said no. that? And now so you're going to get like a hundred of them today. Well, no. somebody goes, uh, <laughs> somebody goes, that's a good point, man. I go, that's what good, the fuck are you talking point. about? <laughs> All I'm saying is, we don't talk about when Doug puts the snore sounds under whenever I'm saying anything. <laughs> talk about a TV show I watch. I like Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. I'm not asking you to stop. You make a good point. I like I'm not asking fun. anybody to do anything make differently. You make a good point. You, you know what we should point. do, Matt? We should turn the comments <laughs> Turn the comments off. Bar- uh, b- 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 bar- uh, no one should be able to comment on anything. Wait a the pounding. <laughs> Hey, look who's here, Uncle Phil. Let's talk to Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil is looking like a Confederate general right now. He's got this white beard. You look, what? You look like Robert E. Lee. We say no. I'm not Robert E. Lee. George Washington. Don't you dare. George Washington. How are you, friend? I haven't seen you in, uh, or talked to you in a while. No, it's uh, good, to, good to be back here and talk to you guys. Um, you know, I saw... Uh, Lemmy's excellent setup there, and uh, I just placed an order for a Sony HK, uh, 8K uh, camera there, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it's going to cost me something like $96,000. Jesus. I mean, didn't he look fantastic? He looked like uh, like a Kardashian or something with that quality. It was like very clear skin. Very professional. Very um, prof- what, um, what's on your mind? Uh, nothing much. I just, uh, was just going to let you guys know, and especially you, Tim, cause I know you're, uh, you know, you're the star the of the show. Yeah. The, well, the star of the show. But you're in the entertainment industry. Sort of. And, uh, <laughs> it's getting quieter. Hopefully that yeah. picks up, uh, soon, but, uh, I got a new job actually. Oh, cool. Cool. And, man. uh, I'm going to be, uh, one of these guys that, uh, works <laughs> on the set with child actors <laughs> Oh boy! And, uh, I, I'm going to be the guy that makes kids cry uh, for <laughs> acting scenes. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. So, you know, there's a uh, there's a few few folks out there, of course, that do it, and I don't know if you've ever had an experience in working with kids that you got to. Usually, it's the director, cry. or you know, but I didn't know there was a specific department for for handling this. Well, sometimes there are there are specialists who will do that, and uh, you can research those those people who do it and. Uh, their techniques and things and you know most people what they'll do for kids like that is you know they'll tell them to well you know before important scene where they got to cry to think of something really sad or uh or they you know if it's a baby all you got to do tell a baby is just start crying and the baby will start crying it's kind of a normal technique but you know i'm kind of stepping this up and offering a real special service and what's your what's your method going to be what's your method just getting yeah, just getting into the psychology. Uh, well, you really need to get a kid to go over the top and cry and just, uh, you know, and other than just scare them, but, you know, tell them something that's really going to set them off the rails. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you might tell a kid something like their, their uh, for example, uh, their grandma just got sent to jail. Oh, no. Uh, you know, this is like a, it's got to be like a five or six year old or something who kind of has some sense. But do you tell them their grandma just went to jail and hung herself? Oh, Jesus. For example. Jesus. And, uh, and then, you know, then put them right back on the set and say, okay, now it's time to act. And then uh, they're going to be real upset. Well, good luck uh, to you. <laughs> good yeah, luck to you I in your new profession. Um, I think it's going to go well. Um, I Interesting mean, you know, timing to, to join this profession as there are no productions currently <laughs> going on. But I mean, I guess maybe down there in Atlanta, things are picking back up. So there's, yeah, they're starting to pick back up and there's going to be a gap there. And, uh, uh, you I know, re- Shirley Temple, they used to put Shirley Temple in a box and, uh, <laughs> keep her in a windowless box, uh, for a couple hours and she'd get real upset and, uh, they don't let kids do that anymore. Right. But, uh, I'm kind of bringing that back. Oh, good. And I'll, okay. put, I'll, I'll put I'll put uh, I'll put a tarantula on a kid. I'll cover him up with tarantulas or something. I don't have any problem doing that to a three year old. No, you don't. Okay. Get them all worked up. Yeah, that um, seems pretty stri- strange to me. But 
I Stuff remember like I remember on uh in the Bag Boy the 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 TV show Bag Boy we did with Steve Brule, you know, there was this there was a cold open to that which was the Myers family uh yeah. like starting things off where he was like Pablo Myers and his family were saying like this is a new show or something and uh mm-hmm. there was a kid in that show in that little shot it was this like nine-year-old kid and all he had to do was kind of st- sit there stand there for this sort of like family portrait shot and he was not feeling well that kid was not feeling well and he was uh-huh. feeling nauseous and like he was going to throw up <laughs> and we were like and but it made his performance so real because it was like he was super nervous and and like yeah um so if you watch that his kid looks like like his skin turns green like he is about to go chuck one up and we're well, like, can we just get one we'll- more shot before son? I'm so sorry. You don't feel, but we just, we're going now. Go everybody go roll. And we got it. And he just looks, he looks, um, you know, that's exactly what you got to do. Yeah. And I, probably what happened was somebody really good. Like myself, you come in, like, let's say I brought in, uh, brought in a friend of mine, like say I brought Doug in or somebody put Doug in a lab coat and say, this is uh, Dr. Lucenhop. Uh, we just got some really bad results and you have uh, lung cancer. Oh, no. And you're going to die in about a month. Jesus. And, uh, and then just, you know, one, all right, one minute to roll. And then you put them on the set and you turn them out there and uh, they're going to get the best performance you've ever gotten. <laughs> all right. Good luck to you, Phil. Keep in touch about yep. how that goes. It'd be interesting to I will. see how that career develops. Have you ever seen yeah, I think that? It's going right. to go good. See you, Phil. Take Have care. Have Chris Robinson from the Black Crows. Thank you for joining us. Hello. What's up, man? Hello. Shake your money maker. <laughs> What's going on, dude? How can I help you today? Jamming out. Jamming out to office hours. Cool. Oh, you got your guitar with you? Yeah. What do you want to play? I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? So come down to silence down to morning. Rock it, man. Rims and zinger. I like food. Tim, I got a great idea. I want to know if you're on board. Uh-huh. It's a compilation album of Bob Dylan's best harmonica solos. <laughs> okay. Are you in? Am I in? <laughs> Are you in? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Baby, baby, Sweet. why can't you okay. sit still? Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> well, you get the money. You're going to back it. What a how? <laughs> I don't have any rights to his music. I don't have any control or authority over doing anything with his music. Oh. Get that? <laughs> All, All right. right. <laughs> get out of here, you scumbag. <laughs> Apple. Apple who is that is rotten. We, we got everyone's the got their Bill? guitars out. I love it. Madeline Babuka. Madeline Babuka. Madeline Madeline Bambuka, drinking listen, drinking her sambuka. <laughs> um, I found this guitar at my parents' house. You guys are in timeout. <laughs> timeout. <laughs>